I just wanted to share my thoughts on um, this air cleaner that I bought. It's called the Rabbit Air Minus 2A. Uh, it's not really cheap. It's about uh, 4 dollars American or about 600 Canadian. Uh, so I just wanted to just give her, um, my first impressions on it because it's a pretty pricey uh, product. But anyways, I bought it because I have really bad allergies and this um, has happened to me since I was 10 years old. Um, it, my allergies actually make me really weak and I have a constant headache and I also have like, a, I believe it's called pulse nasal drip or something. Um, and yeah, it actually it gets, sometimes it gives me bad breath and you can actually tell right now that my voice is kind of hoarse and not as clear as it could be because I kind of have like um, something going on in my throat. But anyways, um, just a um, short story like in the springtime, like probably around February, I actually start getting allergies and that goes all the way till July. But for some reason, ever since I moved uh, to where I live now, uh, we're pretty close to a forest and my allergies are even worse now. Like they're from like, they're actually pretty much year round now. So it's, it's kind of hard for me to live through with it. So I thought I would invest my money in a really good um, air cleaner. And yeah, I, I do take uh, a nasal spray and I do take uh, allergy medicine, but it, it's, there's only so much that those can do for me. So. This is pretty much my last line of hope here. Um, I don't want to get sh um, shots every week, just like what one of my buddies has. Uh, he has to see the doctor like every, um, I think twice a week for shots for the next few months just to get rid of his allergies. But um, anyways, um, here it is. Um, the, the box is right over here. Actually, I kind of lied. Um, I already un unboxed it. So what you get here, it's a pretty big box. Um, I took the unit out already, but you can just see that you have a, you know, a receipt here. I actually got it from Home Depot in uh, Canada, and they ordered that from uh, Rabbit Air in California, I believe. Uh, we have instructions here uh, in French. We have uh, the remote, which is really nifty, and we have a mounting um, uh, racket that goes on your wall if you want to mount a unit. So everything's nicely packaged, everything's nicely protected, and the unit is here on the right. So Rabbit Air, like I've never really heard of them, like there's so many different air purifiers in the market right now, and it's it's like a saturated market, and uh, Rabbit Air, like I do see uh, one of their commercials on YouTube every time I load it up, and it has like classical music, and it shows like a family, it shows like, I think cherry tomatoes getting washed, and it's kind of like a pleasant kind of... Um, commercial that they have and you know when I saw that commercial I was like oh well you know um, you can be a sucker for that and just like you know the, the marketing as long as it's there uh, people will buy things so I was kind of hesitant to actually um, purchase this and like you know you can go to any like I guess like department store and you can buy like one of those Honeywell or Bionaire HEPA filters for like 200 bucks or even less and to spend like 500 on this, it, it's quite crazy. But, um, you know, I took the chance and I just opened it up yesterday and I think I'm actually pretty surprised. Like it's a pretty high quality unit. Uh, first of all, I don't, of course, I don't work for Rabbit Air or anything like that. I just wanted to do this review so that um, I can educate people. But, um, and, and of course, I'm not expecting that my allergies are, are gonna disappear like overnight just because I have this unit. But um, I was just considering this and the Blue Air the Blue Air um, air cleaner, I think it costs about $800 US for the one that, that can filter all the air in a 800 square foot place. And the reason why I didn't buy that one was because someone did a review on it and they showed that in the filter compartment, there was so many gaps around the filter that you basically had like steel or unfiltered air just bypassing it and getting blown out of um out of the um, exhaust for the unit. So after seeing that, I was like totally turned off. I'm like, I'm not gonna get it if I'm gonna spend 800 bucks on something that doesn't really work like 100%. So enough of me talking, I'm just gonna show you guys um, this unit and you can see that it's really slim. Like it's, I think it's about seven inches across. And that's another thing that I liked about it. Um, you know, it's a pretty clever design. It looks pretty good. Uh, some of the other ones on the on the market, they look like towers and they're kind of ugly and they, they they do like swivel, but I'm kind of thinking if something swivels, like there's a motor in there that's eventually going to wear out or actually be really noisy. So, okay, just in front of the unit here, 
Uh, I actually I haven't taken uh, any of the, the shrink wrap off yet, but um, you can see that it's pretty nicely protected. And uh, instructions on the front. I'm just gonna pop off this uh, front plate here and show you guys what's inside. So you get like a, a pretty big filter here and look at the size of this. I mean, there's so much surface area for for like all the dust and all the crap to get into. So uh, how do you pull this out? Okay, here you go. Yeah, so this is pretty thick. I think it's about two inches. And you have like a ton of stuff in here that you can customize, of course. Um, what I like about it is that it's, um, the rabbit area, their instructions are really, really good. They're colored and like, it's kind of idiot proof the way you install this. Like even someone like me that um, screws things up. Um, yeah, it was a piece of cake to put in. Um, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, there's like four different filters in here. I, uh, this is the pre-filter. There's like um, another one here, then there's a HEPA and then there's something else, like a charcoal and another customized filter um, behind it. And then over here, sorry, I don't think it's that uh, bright in my home, but uh, you can see the motor here and it's just, uh, I think it's a, it's a brushless motor, so it's actually really, really quiet when it operates. And yeah, I mean, everything's simple, but you know, you have a handle over here where you can actually hold the unit to lift it up. And I like how uh, balanced it is because it doesn't feel like, like some of the other tower units, you lift it up and it seems bottom heavy, but this is really nicely balanced. And uh, I think it's about 20 pounds. But anyways, I have it all the way to the back of the wall. And what happens is that air actually goes into the front or the sides of the unit and it actually blows out through this uh, top vent up here. And what I did was I put um, a little air cleaner here, or sorry, air freshener, and I know you're not supposed to do that. It probably voids your warranty, but it kind of um, picks up the, the vanilla scent over here and it blows it all around my home. And it makes my home actually smell really good. So a lot of people, uh, um, I, I think they mentioned that or a lot of reviews that I read online mentioned that um, they really love this unit because once they installed it, um, they came home to like a fresh smelling house. And I think that's kind of a little bit of like an exaggeration, like I don't notice it. Um, you know, maybe my house, it just doesn't stink in here. I mean, I do cook and all that and like every day, but you know, I, I, um, it doesn't smell f any fresher than it was before. So I think that's kind of like a, like a maybe a little bit of an error that people noticed or maybe it's just me maybe a lot of people that buy this are smokers but anyways um yeah uh and my allergies well it's it's kind of too too soon to tell if this actually works but even if it doesn't i think that i'm actually going to still keep it because it's such a well-made unit and um you know to know that i'm breathing really good air you know that's clean and um yeah, I mean, it's it's worth the money. Like, I think $600 is not, 600 Canadian is not too much to pay for this. Uh, there's a five-year warranty on it, so it's probably more than most um, manufacturers uh, give you. And um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, why don't we go to the operation? Like, everyone should know how this works, but um, what I really like about it is that everything's really pleasant like, you know, the controls and the sounds that this makes. Like, it's definitely not like a cheap unit that you find from like um, Honeywell or something. And, and yeah, uh, the blue light over here is, it just tells you how dirty your air is. So I, I like how it can just monitor your air. Uh, there's sensors here. Uh, the only thing I think I'm gonna complain about is that you pretty much have like your uh, access panel on the right side of the unit where you actually control this thing. And I like it because there's so many different controls that you can actually input into this. But it seems kind of cheap. Like these buttons, they, they kind of look like the HVAC controls on my dad's 86 Corolla. And, uh, you know, I'm just nitpicking, but you know, these LEDs could be nicer. Because uh, they kind of, I don't, I don't think they flicker, but they look like they're LEDs from like the 1980s. Kind of like when like Terminator, um, you know, was uh, the movie came out, so. <laughs> Uh, again, it's just a nit nitpicky thing for me. Uh, another thing that I think that could be better is that um, they could perhaps have a, like an LCD display over here instead of having buttons. Well, you know, nowadays it, everything's technology, you know, iPod, Tesla, and you know, when you look at this, it's kind of um, kind of rudimentary, but you know, again, it's just an air cleaner. You don't need, really need it to be really fancy or anything at all. So 
Again, I'm just being picky about that. And the last thing I'm gonna point out that could be improved is probably this wire here, because you can actually mount this onto the wall somewhere. And um, if they had like a coil system where the wire can kind of actually like get taken up into the body of the unit by like tension, that would be great. But again, I know that you can't really do that because um, that means that this unit would, would require like more space behind it. And it would probably be bigger because, uh, because you have that winding uh, coil in there. But again, small things that uh, I'm just nitpicking about. Overall, I'm really happy with this unit. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I might do a review on it later, uh, maybe after like a one month of usage. Uh, these filters last about a year, so um, it's also another bonus to have. Um, some of the other uh, units that I've researched, um, the filters last like you know, maybe like six months or so and I do to replace them, it's like quite a bit of money. Uh, you can put some aftermarket filters in here and um, I guess save yourself some money that way too. It's about 90 bucks for our filter replacement. Um, one last thing I wanna mention here. I'm just gonna take this front panel off again. So the filter here, like you can see that it's actually sealed really well into the unit, like it's not, 100% airtight, right? But they didn't have that in some of the more expensive like Blue Air or uh, IQ Air um, air cleaners. So again, everything just fits really, really nice. And I'm just uh, really pleased with everything. So uh, I think that's it with the video. Um, actually, why don't I uh, turn it on and tell, uh, let you guys know how quiet it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna Okay, so this thing's powered up and you know when I first plugged it in, um, it ran like high speed for about a few minutes and then I guess it filtered everything out so automatically it goes down to low, but oh man, this thing is super quiet. Like even if you adjust the speed and you bring it up to low or like medium, like it's, there's so much air that comes out of here. It's, it's almost like as much as like a hair dryer on medium and you don't really hear anything. So again, a really awesome unit. It's like re really well made up, made up, really well designed. Definitely, I, I don't have any um, hesitation to buy this. Like, I, I don't have any reason to return it. It's expensive, but I think it's really worth it.